service. Hey, it's Mike back at you with video two of the uh, trick ski. So what I what we did yesterday in the other video was we went around, we filled all these holes right here with uh, fiberglass resin. What I've done uh, for take a, for sake of time is I've went ahead and sanded these. But here's what I've used: a block with. Uh, this is 36 grit. That fiberglass is pretty tough and 80 takes a while. So what I've done is I just kept the block flat. Anytime you got a flat surface, use a block. It keeps everything flat. It keeps everything true. Um, you'll have a lot better finish when you're done because you won't have dips. So what I did is I went over to the 36 flat block. Then I came back with 80 grit. It's just an 80 grit. Went over kind of smoothed out those 36 scratches. Then I took another block, my finishing block, with 150. Went over that, kept it nice and flat. As you can see, I've got all the holes filled that we wanted to fill. Now these other holes, uh, like right here, we're not filling those because that's where our foot mounts are gonna bolt down to. But we had extra holes, we filled them. And then the last thing is we're going to take this post cleaner right here and we put it on a rag and we simply wipe down all of our work. And I took an air hose, I blowed it off good, really good. And then I just came in here with post cleaner, wiped it down. I'm just going to go over it one more time here to kind of show you. This is just a uh, house of colors post sanding cleaner. I also use PPG 330 wax and grease remover right before I'm ready to uh, go over and, and paint this thing or you know, prime it first actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, just an aerosol, very good quality, made by Sim, self-etching primer. We're just going to go over this with just, just these spots really is all we're after right here, just this area right here. And I'm going to put these on a couple coats, last coat pretty heavy, come back, sand it down, you know, the block like uh, 320, and that'll fill a lot of these scratches. And then we will mix up, in a gun, we'll mix up epoxy primer, because I'm gonna use urethane on this, polyurethane, because it's gonna be in the water, it's gonna be used. So I'll use an epoxy primer, polyurethane epoxy primer. We'll go over this whole thing, and then we'll be ready to uh, sand it and start the fun part, the painting. So I shook this real good. Now I'm just going to go over it. You see spots. Light coat here. A little body work I did right on this front edge. Kind of cover it. Just kind of let that flash off a little bit. Now these emblems. I hear these logos on each end. I'm going to put back on and we'll do that in the videos. This will all be paint. No stickers. It'll all be uh, airbrushed on, painted on. And I'm going to bear it down and go just a little bit heavier. This, uh, this primer in this can here, it's like I showed you, it's made by Sim. This is very high quality primer. It's got a great spray nozzle. So it's really good for these small areas like this. Of course you don't want to do the whole thing like that. But what we're just doing spot repair is perfect for that. It's good high quality uh, high quality primer. Works great. Better than mixing up uh, and a big gun just for a small area. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna let that dry. I'll see you in the next video. We'll uh, we'll get this all sanded down. I'll probably put one more coat of paint on it here, or one more coat of primer on it, a heavy coat after this dries off. But uh, next video, we'll sand this down, and then we'll uh, do the epoxy primer and we'll get started with the fun stuff. See you in the next video.